What's up everyone, it's Lucas here and welcome back to Denby Insane Asylum. I can't believe I've actually decided to come back to this place. I've got my friend with me here today who's going to help film some, some shots and we're going to try and head a little bit deeper into this place. There were a few people already here when we got here. They told us as a police officer wandering around, wandering around the perimeter of the building somewhere. However, he is happy with uh, filmmakers and photographers. Let's get inside this place. So this was the exact part of the building that was burned down. There were a few different sections of the building that were burned down. We spoke to a police officer earlier. He said that there is only, as far as he knows, there's only one section that burned down. Yeah, no, it wasn't this month. It was, oh. um, it was about two months ago. But I read up online that the actual main hall has burned down. So God knows what the main hall is. Burned down, probably, I guess. <laughs> I heard a bunch of noises in the great hall, so I just wanted to leave. This place is absolutely massive guys i've never been i've never seen a place like this before never mind you know on pictures never mind actually been to a place like this god knows what this courtyard was actually used for back in the day i can imagine patients walking between buildings and wards and uh, doctors and nurses more walking around here this place not even very long ago was buzzing with life and it's so weird to see it just completely dead Hey. <laughs> Alright, so we've uh, made it back into another corridor. We've met some people just yeah. down there. Oh, Hello, well. Urbexes. <laughs> There's a very, very dark looking room down here. And there's a door that says don't open on it. So God knows what is through here. It's the original wallpaper guys. The original wallpaper. That is some insane wallpaper. <laughs> With an insane drawing on it. That's like something out of a horror movie. So we've now made it to the second floor of the asylum. And there appears to be, there's loads of little singular kind of rooms. Um, careful there, mate. That floorboard is broken. Okay. Uh, oh, that floor is also caved in. Right. Oh, 
This is way too dangerous. The police officer that we saw before also said that two of his colleagues came here not too long ago. And as they were walking through the building, the ceiling actually collapsed about 20 foot in front of them. So they were actually very lucky. So we are risking a lot coming here today. We don't want to risk our lives, but we want to get as many cool shots as we can for you guys. <laughs> we, found, we found this part of the building, which genuinely just looks like someone's house, like a mansion. But over in this direction where I'm looking is completely screwed up. It's like a movie, but over here it's nice. So it's very strange. Alrighty guys, so we've made it to the very, very top floor of one of the buildings. This is incredible. You can see the view. This is where things get start getting pretty dangerous. You can see right here, the floor is just caving through. So we're gonna have to be especially careful with where we tread here. So we really don't wanna fall through the floor. So we've just come around the corner and come across these huge silos and chimneys. I'm not sure what they actually use these for. It seems like some kind of energy for the rest of the building, but they are huge. We did not expect this at all. Unexpected kind of thing to find in an abandoned insane asylum. So we've now made it into this huge facility. It's pretty much like a factory. It's massive and there are, it's much bigger than we first uh, thought. So what this was, they probably had people working in here uh, throughout the year to basically keep this uh, place going. And it's huge. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up here, guys. We've explored as much of the building as possible. Unfortunately, we couldn't get into this sort of main section. We can actually hear someone in there right now, so it's possible, uh, but we're gonna get out of here because we've been here for ages. Also, just a quick mention to my sponsor. Uh, you can find them on Twitter at LED Capulux. They sell awesome stuff online. They've got awesome Urbex stuff, lights, that equipment, that sort of thing. The link to their website will be in the description, so go check their site out. Uh, they got some awesome stuff. So if you enjoyed the video guys, uh, please go down and hit that subscribe button, it really helps out and also like the video. And if you've got any comments about the building at all, or any other comments, uh, feel free to comment them down below in the comments box. Until next time guys, stay dauntless.